Your pre-video alcohol drinking comments are not funny. Fire your writer. How am I supposed to fire myself, buddy? He says Rivera like Rivera. Ha ha ha. That's not bad. And you actually forgot an R. I can't watch the video. Error. Well, let's do something. You send me your computer. I'll fix it for you, but I'm, I can't promise I'll send it back. That's right. It's that time of the week. I am Jaime Rivera. This is Pocket Now, and this is our Pocket Now daily recap for last week. So on Monday I asked you what did you think about HTC's upgrade policies, the news were about HTC confirming to HTC One X customers that they were not getting Android 4.4 KitKat on their phones, even for the One X Plus. And we have 423 comments out of which Cameron Covington says, buy an iPhone and you don't have to worry as much about software updates, and it's kind of true. Even if you're not getting the full iOS 7 on the iPhone 4, you're still getting iOS 7. Why couldn't we get something like that on old HTC devices? Like for for example, even if it's not the full KitKat, certain features would be cropped out, but it still would be KitKat. Then another commenter says, HTC One X users whining about not getting updated to 4.4 KitKat. Try the LG Optimus G and get stuck on 4.1.2 forever. And yes, LG has a terrible reputation in that department. Then Lodestar17 says, LOL, just like what they did with the Desire HD after that, I never bought HTC phones. And I love your avatar, number one, and number two, yes, that's the reason why I actually moved away from HTC phones for a while. Then on Tuesday, I asked you, what would you like for the Google Nexus 10 to include? The rumors were of a new render of a Samsung-made Google Nexus 10, after the renders of an Asus-made Google Nexus 10 both being very terrible. We have 226 comments out of which Omar Feliciano says, man, you're wrong with the Nexus 10 leak. EV leak removed the tweet because it turned out to be a hoax. And yes, this would be actually the second time that Asus leak recently uh, was also a hoax. We don't really know. I mean, we do assume that it's going to be made by Samsung, but again, we don't really know if it's going to happen or not. Then TechBen505 says, Nexus 10 with huge storage. That's probably one of the biggest deals with the whole new resolution of the Nexus 10. One of the biggest problems was the fact that you did have limited storage for so much resolution and application. Nerusha Kiran says, 4K Nexus 10 now, and we already had a 2K Nexus 10, and it was perfect. You couldn't see pixels, so... Eh. Then on Wednesday, I asked you, how big is security for you? The news were about this new black phone being a phone that's dedicated to security and actually only security. We have 194 comments out of which Dan Reed says, everything can be hacked. If you can build it, they can break it. And that's quite true, actually. I really don't get the point about this black phone. It's cool for you to buy a phone with more features than just security. Um, but then again, just buying a phone for security is kind of odd. But Johanna Costa says security is important, but not enough to buy a new phone. I'd rather install VPN and that's true I mean that's like buying a car without a spare tire there are certain things that are just supposed to be basic and in the same realm I mean smartphones were designed originally for businesses and therefore that should be included in the box not something you'd buy a phone for then Lex says a phone that cannot be hacked by the NSA really are there people that are stupid enough to believe in this and uh, I'm not gonna comment on that one but you've got a solid point then on Thursday, I asked you, why do you think it's taken so long for Windows Phone to take off? The news were about Microsoft's possible buyout of OEMs for $1 billion to get new phones and the Microsoft executive saying that they hadn't done that. We have 387 comments out of which one of them says, the people who hate the Metro UI most probably are those that don't know how to use it right. And Jaime, for at least once in your lifetime, make a video where you don't complain about Windows Phone, smiley face. And uh, okay, so what's wrong with the Metro UI and the way to use it? So you're kind of saying that I have to hold the phone upside down to use it right? Or how can you actually use it wrong? I'm trying to get that. Then Peter Griffin says, Windows Phone, boring and not enough apps. Simple and yeah, Family Guy always gets it right. But to be honest with you, the apps are there. The ones that we want are there now. But the problem is again, the Metro UI has become a little stale and boring because there is a lot of functionality in Facebook that's no longer available in the People Hub, for example. So there are reasons why a Windows Phone 8.1 needs to be a dramatic overhaul. And another commenter says, I like Windows Phone 8 fine, but it's an app world now. Each time a new exciting app comes to iOS first and later to Android, then it's maybe Windows Phone 8. And that is so true. It's really annoying to see that everything launches everywhere else first and then on Windows Phone. That's something that shouldn't be. 
And then finally on Friday, I asked you if you were getting the wooden Moto X for just an extra 25 bucks, the news were about Motorola, and now launching the service with just $25 of premium for a wooden Moto X and not $100 like they were originally doing. And we have 249 comments out of which Peter the L Tech Guy says a regular Moto X is good enough, and I do agree with that. I am skeptical, but that's really because I have not used the wooden Moto X. I would be wrong to tell you that I don't like the phone. Yeah, of course I like a wooden phone. I just don't know if I would pay to have a wooden phone when there are so many other color options. Wood is not necessarily the best thing for me, but that's my opinion. Then P-Man says, could last a few drop tests. Just make sure you don't overclock it because it might catch fire. <laughs> Man, this is like the most hilarious comment of the week. I mean, yeah, imagine a wooden phone catching fire. That's going to be odd. And then Soldier 2.0 says, the question of the day should have been, did you pay the $100 extra for the wood Moto X? And are you mad, bro? And yeah, the question is, those of you that paid the $100, why is Motorola not giving you back your money? I mean, hey, 25 bucks is a dramatic change for more wooden options. Did you order it? Leave us a comment down below and tell us about it. That's it for our Pocket Now Daily Recap. Thank you very much for watching. A couple of tips if you want your comments to be featured. Number one, keep them short. Number two, stick to the point. And number three, try to get some thumbs up. It helps us spot them a lot easier. You can also follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.